darkness has not overcome. Those who dwell in the land of deep darkness, on day, light and shine. We want to know Christ's glory, glorious of the only Son from the Father. For unto us the child is born, to us the Son is given. He was life, and the Lord has the light to all people. Let us be our joyful task to hear once again the message of the angels and to journey in our minds to Bethlehem. There let us see the things that has come to pass. A babe playing in the manger, we shall hear the scriptures how Almighty God has lovingly cared for us from our days, from our early days of disobedience in the Garden of Eden. Until now, our redemption by Christ's child. But first, let us pray for the need of the words today. For peace on earth and goodwill among all nations. And let us remember the poor, the hungry, the homeless, the persecuted, the sick, and those who mourn. Almighty God, we ask you to hear our prayers and accept our praises for Jesus Christ. Christ's sake. Amen. Amen. Let's sing away in a manger. Okay. Of the 
presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Hast thou eaten of the tree whereof I commanded thee that thou shalt not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to be with me, she gave me of the tree, and I did eat. And the Lord God said, said unto the woman, What is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, The serpent will kill me, and I will eat it. And the Lord God said unto the serpent, Because thou hast done this, thou art cursed above all cattle, and above every beast of the field. Upon thy belly shalt thou go, and thus shalt thou eat all the days of thy life. And I will put enmity between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. It shall bruise thy head, and thou shalt bruise his heel. And unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, and thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee. And unto Adam he said, because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns also and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of thy face shalt thou eat bread, till thou return unto the ground. For out of it was thou taken, for thus thou art, and unto thus shalt thou return. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's continue singing, O little town of Bethlehem. And may we ask uh, Ivy and Peter to come up. Sister Ivy and Peter. Let's sing the first stanza.
that walk in the darkness have seen a great light. They that dwell in the land of, of the shadow of death, upon them have the light shine. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his name. Shoulder and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord, and shall make him a quick understanding with the fear of the Lord. With righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meat of the earth. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, and the cow and the young lion and the fat baby together, and the little child shall lead them, and the cow and the bear shall feed, their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox, and the sucking child shall play on the hole of the ass, and the wind child shall put his hand on the cockatrice again. They shall not hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord, as the waters cover the sea. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
lesson, the angel Gabriel salutes the Blessed Virgin Mary. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin exposed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hey, thou that art highly pleased, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father, David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto him, The Holy Ghost shall come upon you, and the power of the highest shall overshadow you. Therefore also, the holy thing which shall be born of you shall be called the Son of God. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Son, St. Luke tells of the birth of Jesus. And it came to pass in those days that there were went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, and everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was out of the house of the lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his spouse, wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
seventh lesson. The shepherds go to the manger.
Eighth lesson. The wise men are led by the star to Jesus. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the rest from the east of to east of Jerusalem, saying, Where is the where is he that is born in Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When here the king had heard these things, he was troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said unto him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it is written by the prophet. And though Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah, for us and come a governor that shall rule to the people of Israel. Then Herod, when he had privily called the wise men, inquired of them diligently what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child, then the of the when they had heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star, which they saw in the east, went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were and when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell, and fell down, and worshipped him. And when they had opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. And being warned of God in a dream that they should not return to Hero, they departed into their own country in another way. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
that is from God, of God, one that is eternal. I wonder if some of us here tonight hasn't really come to the point of knowing Jesus Christ yet as their personal Lord and Savior. In a while, I'll ask you to do one thing on your own. And yet before that, I would like to request those of us who have come to know Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. In other words, there was a point in your life where you came to acknowledge your need of Him. And then you said, Jesus, come into my life, be my personal Lord and Savior today. If you are here tonight, and I just request you to stand up with me wherever you are seated. If you have come to this point of saying, Jesus is my personal Lord and Savior. Only to you at first, can I request you to stand with me wherever you are seated. Whether you are a member of this church or just a visiting person. Now, before you get forced to also stand and join them, look at these people standing beside you. Are they perfect? Siguro sa akin ang husband mo ng wedding anniversary mo, you're perfect, my love. But you know what? Even me, I'm not perfect. I sometimes snore at night. Perhaps louder than that. And my wife hates it. Makes her life miserable. Who among your spouses snore? Yeah, so I'm not perfect. She never, she never thought I'll be that Prince Charming and then would snore at night. Um, makes her nights restless. But you know what? There's still more about me than just snoring. Sometimes I can lose my temper and make the life of my family members also a little bit uncomfortable, if not miserable. Sometimes I can be angry and people will not like it. Sometimes I can just be selfish and just think about my own self. And that doesn't make our home a, a better place to live in. It, it kind of makes it a little bit uh, uncomfortable. I'm part of the trouble there is in the world today. But there's so much trouble around, right? Not just about snoring. There's so much anger, there's so much hatred, there's so much selfishness, there's so much pride, there's so much, you know, uh, injustice. And left to our own, we will all be helpless. This world will continue to remain a dark world. And yet these people seated or standing beside you tonight are equally imperfect. I would say left on their own, on our own. We're part of this growing trouble in our world. We're partly contributory to the darkness there is. If not for Jesus, we will remain that way. And yet, praise be to God, because He has come, make us come to know Him as a personal Lord and Savior. And we have been introduced to that hope. We cannot fully explain it and how that works out. And yet one thing we are beginning to understand day by day as we can still continue to be haunted by our own imperfections is that God's love is so great, His grace abounds in each of our weaknesses. Also amazing grace that sometimes we cannot help but just come before Him and say, Lord, thank you. Who am I? It's never about me. It's never about my goodness that I am assured of salvation. It is only by your grace. And I believe, as each one believes here tonight, that He still works on me. As He is working in your friend's life, in your spouse's life, in your family member's life, or in this person, this stranger you are seated beside, who's standing next to you. God did not come because this is a bright world where everybody is happy and good and gleeful. He came to this world in the midst of his darkness, of his troubled times. He came and broke through history and reached out to this troubled life. And he says, 
I love you this much. And if you just give your life to me, I can begin a change in you, in the life of your spouse, your neighbor, your friend. And let my love envelop you and embrace you. And may that love continue to transform you and make this world a little bit brighter in the midst of its seeming hopelessness. Tonight, I cannot see you from here, but God sees you from where you are seated right now. If to a certain degree, you are saying in your heart, I would like to know this Jesus they call Savior, this Jesus who became the reason not for their apathy to a world that is troubling out there, but for the reason for hope and say, Oh Lord, that same love that has touched us is that same love we pray for people who still hasn't known of that love. And you are privileged to be here tonight, yet still seated. If you have that desire to know Christ, would you join that loved one, that spouse, that friend, or that stranger standing beside you and say, I would like to know Christ also into my life as my personal Lord and Savior. Because if that is what you want, I would invite you before I pray tonight to also stand with those who are standing. If this is your desire, if this is what you want, I don't know much about Christ, I don't know much about religion, I just want to know this hope that you are celebrating this Christmas. If this is what you desire, I invite you to stand with us. Thank you. Anybody else who would like to stand and join before we pray? Even as I pray, you can stand where all eyes are bowed and eyes are closed and heads are bowed in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we come together as people who are not ignorant about the times. As people who don't necessarily don't care about the trouble that is around us. But we come here tonight as people who choose to hold on to you as our hope. And as you being our hope, and your word has assured us we can have reason to just choose to celebrate and declare that victory that is found in Jesus Christ alone. Yes, Lord, even as we sing here, there are people out there hurting, there are people out there in need. And there might be people among us here who is also hurting and in need. And yet even as we choose to sing songs tonight and celebrate, we choose to declare that victory will also be theirs as they come to hear of this saving message in Jesus Christ. As any of us here also choose to respond by faith and say, Lord, here's my life. I don't know if there's still any hope for this. But Lord, my last card. I choose to give this life to you. Thank you, Lord, that your grace abounds and that you hear each prayer and that you receive each person regardless of who we are and how we are in our lives. And we give you praise. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's all be seated as we continue to celebrate the Lord's love tonight. God bless you.
fill you with the sweetness of inward peace and goodwill. And the blessing of God, the love of Christ, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit remain with you always. Go forth in peace and joy. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Please be seated and blow out your candles.
Please be seated.
that's okay, you know, with, with a prayer for them also. Uh, we also would like to enjoy some time of fellowship with you tonight. So even as you stand, you can extend a handshake to people. But then, uh, if you have time to drop your information card here in this box, anybody who still has the information card with you, because we will draw door prices for you as well, okay? So if you haven't really dropped it yet, you can still come and drop it here or ask somebody to drop it here. Rush, run, 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 that's okay. And while you're doing so, we also would like to invite those of you who desire to know Jesus Christ more in your life as your personal Lord and Savior. And say, I want to know that hope that you've been telling me a while ago. Don't be shy, just come here because I would like to give you something as a token of our uh, time together tonight. So, if you're one of those who would like to know Jesus Christ more in your life as your personal Lord and Savior, whether you stood up a while ago or you did not, that's okay. Even as we fellowship there, I will just be waiting here for a while. You can come and I will give you a token uh, for tonight. Okay. Are we ready? If you're ready with your information sheet, maybe we can just stand up and start fellowshipping uh, as we will call out some names also, okay? Uh, we will call out names outside, there, the fellowship hall. So be sure to grab a snack, remain for a while, talk with people, and make friends, and be prepared to hear your name be called out for some more prices. Again, as you go out, I will wait here for a while. If you would like to know Jesus more, as your personal Lord and Savior, we got a token for you. And then all the kids, all the kids tonight, please remain here because of the gift from our church, huh? Please remain, all the kids, come with me. Please remain in the sanctuary. Okay, all the kids.